Hi, I'm Jan from NTP Technology. Today I will talk about our Pentas 720 in one of its basic applications as an SDI embedder, D embedder. Usually the Pentas 720 is used as an audio router with MADI, Dante, AES, and analog interfaces, and can also do SDI embedding, D embedding. However, it's also suitable for standalone applications such as SDI embedding, D embedding. The base unit comes as standard with one coax MADI, eight AES IO, and it can be expanded with an additional two MADI IOs. On top of that, you can configure it with 64 channels of Dante using the Brooklyn 2 module, which is a typical configuration. In this case here, we have installed eight SDI embedder, D embedder cards. The SDI embedder, D embedder card has two SDI inputs and two SDI outputs. So it can do both embedding and de embedding in the same card. And it does that on two SDI signals. SDI signals can be standard resolution, HD resolution, and 3G resolution at any frame rate. So with the eight SDI cards in the box, you actually have 16 SDI embedders and the embedders in one 2U chassis. So it's an extremely powerful combination. Now using the Dante Brooklyn 2 module, you have 64 channels of Dante that you can embed into any of the channels in the SDI signals or you can extract any channel in the SDI signals and send it out on a Dante connection. You can even extract audio from an SDI signal and re-embed it into another SDI signal. So because you have a router inside, you can basically patch any input channel to any output channel, whether that is MADI, AES, Dante, or SDI. Now you might say, well, 64 channels of Dante on the Brooklyn module and 16 SDI, that gives an average of four Dante channels per SDI signal. That's not an awful lot, particularly if you're working surround. Fortunately, we can solve that problem. Simply unplug an SDI card and replace it with this card here, which is a 128 channel Dante card. So that gives you 128 channels in and 128 channels out. That should give you enough Dante channels for the remaining SDI signals. And keep in mind, you still have the 64 channels of Dante in the base unit. So that is 192 channels of Dante. So we'll just insert this one. And one of the cool things about the Penta 720 is that the cards are hot swappable. So you can just open the front panel, take a card out and put another one in while power is still applied to it. The card will automatically come up uh, after a small reset of a card and be loaded with correct firmware. So now in this box here, we have 14 SDI embedders and de embedders and 196 channels of Dante, in addition to the MADI and the AES-IO. Next problem you might come across is audio and video lip sync. So uh, typically video will be a slightly delayed compared to the audio due to video processing. Fortunately, we can solve that problem as well in the same box. We have a card here, which is a 128 channel delay card. The card gives you 128 channel seconds of delay. So that basically means you can have 128 channels which are delayed by one second each, or one channel that is delayed by 128 seconds or any combination in between. So we simply unplug another SDI card and we insert the delay card in the chassis. So now we have 12 SDI embedders, D embedders. We have 196 channels of Dante and AS67. And we have a delay card, which allows us to provide lip sync. The delay card, as I said, can go up to 128 channel seconds. Or you can go the other way, which is the minimum delay on a channel is basically down to one sample. So it's a very accurate lip sync you can achieve with this particular card. And if you need more than 128 channel seconds, then again, you can exchange an SDI card with another delay card. And if you need more Dante channels, should that be necessary? Again, you can swap out an SDI card and put in another uh, Dante card. Another cool feature about the Dante card is that it has onboard sound rate converter. So the Dante network does not even need to be synchronized to the rest of the box because you have that sound rate converter. 
It even allows you to take in down to streams of 96 kHz sample rate or even 192 kHz and sample rate convert it to the broadcast 48 kHz and embed it directly into the SDI signals and send it out. So that was how you can use the Penta 720 uh, in an SDI embedder, de-embedder application.